Hey everyone, and welcome to the second video in our series, The Data Dig with RPR. My name is Nathan Graham, and today we are going to dive into RPR's pool of property data. So I've gone ahead and logged into the RPR platform. Uh, you can see I actually uh, did so as if I was an agent over at Century 21 m and just to kind of show you what that branding looks like within RPR if your office has that set up. Uh, but what we're gonna do is jump into this go to search area because this is how you're going to access all of the property level data um, that RPR consolidates. If you're curious, if you wanna dive more into the property level information as well as all the other data that's in RPR, um, the first video in this series talks a lot more about where the partners are and how they operate. And I'll mention some of those things here as we're moving along, but if you want a more in-depth one, definitely go back and check out that first video. So we are on the property search page. And you can see up here at the top, we can do an all property search, a for sale or a for lease. The reason we have this all property search is because you do have access to nationwide public records within RPR. And so some of the things I'm gonna show you all today are going to encompass those you know, off market public records. Um, so we're gonna leave it at all properties. And what I'm going to do now is just type in you know, the geography that I am looking to um, do my search in. We have all the property types selected. You might want to check on this advanced and just make sure there's no weird um, you know, filters going on. If so, you can always just clear that. Uh, but once you have your search set up, just hit the search button and the system's going to pull up properties that are on market as well as off market. And so just as a refresher, you know, our on market listing information comes from your local MLSs, your local CIEs, your local CMLSs, um, and then we also have nationwide partnerships with companies like Crexi, Brevitas, Byproxy, Land Broker MLS, TotalCommercial.com, um, and here in mid-February, actually, um, Century 21 Commercial listings will be coming directly from y'all's um, company feed into RPR for everyone to see as well. So that's kind of where all of the listing information comes from. All the off-market information, again, comes from Black Knight. Um, and what we have here is everything in the Portland marketplace. So that's 41,000 plus properties. And so the first thing that I'll show you all just to kind of you know, give you an idea is looking at an on-market property. You know, you can do that from an all property search. What you're gonna do is just you know, hit some of these filters. So let's say we're looking for multifamily um, and we want over 10,000 square feet. Hit the apply button. And now what the system's going to do is going to narrow our search results down to just multifamily that have 10,000 square feet. But again, it is going to include off-market properties um, because we are doing that all property search. And at this point, you know, it's just like doing any other search y'all have ever done. You're looking at the basic details here. And then with RPR, if you want to jump into more information uh, about the property itself, click on the address. That'll take you to our property detail page. And this is where you're going to see all of the, you know, listing information merging with our public record information as well. So up here at the top, we have all the pictures. We have the agent descriptions. You can see where the information is actually coming from. Um, which in this case is one of the uh, local MLSs in town. Um, and then you can start to see some of the public record details. So here is the ownership information. This one's held under an LLC. We have public facts, we have listing facts, we have your changes. And one thing I do enjoy about, you know, the way our system set up is you can always add your own knowledge about these properties. So you can become part of, you know, the property level, you know, data stack within RPR um, if you want to add details. And keep in mind, anything that you add to these properties, it's just for you. Nobody else is going to see those. And then continuing on, you know, you can just see multiple other data features. Um, and we always show you public records, listing facts, and so on and so forth. So hopefully, by merging the public facts with the listing facts, you get a really complete picture of any on-market property. Okay. So going back to our search. Now we're gonna start messing around with some of that off-market uh, information and some of the cool things you can do with that that go beyond just looking for available space. So let's, uh, let's say that um, we're looking for a comparable, maybe we're creating our broker price opinion and we wanna look at any office space that is sold within um, a certain period of time. You know, Maybe we're about to put an offer in or we're about to put a market on property and we just wanna kinda of see what the market's up to. Um, this is where you're gonna to come to your sold date uh, kind of fields. Um, we're gonna use the within one. And you know, to say that last year was an interesting one is a, a, quite the understatement. 
in the office sector. So you might not want to go back 360 days. Maybe you just want to see the last 180. Um, don't forget to take out any weird filters you might have had before, unless you obviously want to keep those. And then you just click on uh, the apply button. And now what we're looking at are the 46 office properties within the Portland market um, that have sold within the last 180 days. And then I can start narrowing my you know, property search down bit by bit um, in order to look for comparables. Um, you know, the other thing, if you are looking at a unique property and you need to go outside of your market to maybe find a hotel that has sold recently or some other unique building, um, you do have nationwide access to all of the public records. So if you have a similar market nearby, um, you can search for comps that way as well. So that's kind of the comp thing. Um, next up, what we can do is look for potential clients, you know, do some farming um, within the RPR data sets. Um, so what we're going to do this time, you know, industrial is a pretty hot property type, has been for a while now. Um, but let's say that we're going to look for any industrial property owners in our market that maybe have held on to a property for an extended period of time and potentially might want to put it on market at this period. So what I'm doing is using the date range tool and I'm telling the system that I want to look for any industrial space that sold between January and December of 2012, but has not sold since then. And so these are all properties that, you know, theoretically, um, maybe towards the end of their hold period, um, which, you know, might give that client an incentive to sell. You know, maybe it's an older space that's going to need some renovations. Maybe they just want to take advantage of the hot market. You know, we could work through this 101 properties clicking on here, looking at the owner facts. We could also narrow this down a little bit if we wanted to as well by clicking on bigger map and doing something like, you know, show geographies and then looking for properties that are also inside of opportunity zones. Again, y'all have nationwide access to the opportunity zone uh, map layers. We can zoom into, you know, maybe the downtown Portland area and you could either, you know, search just these seven geographies if you wanted to or since we can already see that there are a couple of properties that, you know, are uh, maybe towards the end of the hold period as well as being inside of an opportunity zone, we can just click on one of these and jump into the more details here as well. And coming down, we can see here who the owner is um, and start, you know, our due diligence process to understand who the individual ownerships might be um, for this uh, incorporated uh, investment trust. So. Um, that's identifying, you know, potential future uh, clients, you know, using the RPR. You know, the last thing that I'll kind of show you, let's say that this uh, group decided they did want to list with us. You know, maybe they didn't know that they were in an opportunity zone and they understand the value of putting that type of a property on market right now. We could go to the map. And, you know, a lot of folks say that your next buyer might be the person that owns the property next door. And so from here, we can see these are the various industrial uh, properties. And we can just click around and see who the owners are of these just by jumping into the more details like we did earlier and identifying, you know, who is the owner of this property and reaching out to them and seeing whether or not you know, they're interested in picking up a, another industrial space in a market that they're familiar with um, and are already managing. So there might be some, um, you know, similarities there that, that will, you know, pique their interest. Um, so, yeah. So let's go back to the homepage and kind of do a really quick review. Uh, you know, basically my goal for today was to, you know, show you beyond just looking for on market space, what you can do within RPR, utilizing those public records um, and understanding you can search for, you know, potential clients. You can search for comps for your broker price opinions. You can even look for potential buyers of space that you're about to put on market. Um, and of course, you can look for for sale and for lease. Um, and keep in mind, we do consolidate from national partnerships across the country. So you do one search in RPR, um, you're going to pull up you know, Crexy, Brevitas, your local MLS, CIE, uh, you know, your Century 21 commercial brokerage feed, um, and, you know, a multitude of others. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed our, you know, dive into the property uh, level data sets that we have in RPR. Hopefully you've gotten some value out of this. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate, shoot me an email. Um, it is Nathan G at NARRPR.com. And I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.